<laughs> Good morning. All right. Today, we are going to use the bind command. We're going to bind a project in from a consultant. Now, here's why we're doing this. Well, we hired a consultant, and this is just a scenario. We hired a consultant to scan a building, and then after they did a scan, they built a Revit model from that scan for existing conditions. Okay, let's just say that's the scenario. Well, they gave us their file, and now we want to start using it, but all their standards are their standards. We have view templates set up. We have views set up. We've got our project standards in our template, but we want the model that they have produced into our system. And we don't want to open their file and then try to get all of our stuff transferred in. It's I've done that before and it's it, you're basically playing in somebody else's backyard. So it's easier to bring the contents in and go from there. Okay? So because if you ah, don't even say because it's the right way to do it. So here we go. Now let's get my mug out of the way. And I'll put it over there. Hey, there we go. All right. This is virtual BIM management at your service. Here we go. So here I go to my first floor plan and I look and I say, aha, there's nothing in here. I need their project or their model in my file. Just the easy way to go. Here we go. So what I want to do is go to the insert tab. And I link the Revit file in. Okay, I link it in. So I click on link and I, aha, there it is, building from the consultant. I click on that and I make sure that origin to origin is set for now so it comes in cleanly. So here we go and you can see what the file is going to look like. And I say open. Now the thing starts looking at it. The program looks at it and goes, wait a minute, what the heck are you doing? <clears throat> It links it in, and I say, okay, that's their file. It came in origin to origin, but that's not really where I wanted it. I've got a little bit of a, an origin in my file that I use on projects, and I want the corner of the building at that spot, okay? So I'm going to come in here, and I want the corner of this building right over here. So what I can do is I can use a line, okay? A line down to here, face of the building, bam, look at that. A line to here, face of the building, bam. Okay, so now that's where I want this link to be. But I gotta check to see if it's floating, see if it's down on the ground or where it is. So I'm gonna go to one of my elevations. I just opened up one of my building elevations. Remember, this is a linked file. I'm gonna go to, say, south, and just take a look at things. Okay, things look fairly in order here, okay. So I'm looking down, <laughs> top of footing is down five feet. They're the, these are, this is coming in. See these over here, the ones that I highlighted. First floor, second floor, roof bearing. Okay, but I've got first floor, second floor is at 10 feet and the other one is at 12. So I don't actually need mine. My third floor is at 20 and that one's at 24. There's not, I have a fourth floor in my project, like in my template, and I've got my roof bearing up at 60. So. Best practice, get rid of your own. When you bind the project into yours, go ahead and bring their levels. I mean, their um, bring in their levels, and then we can rename them. So here we go. So first, well, I don't have to do it first. Look at, I'll just make sure that the first floor, the two first floors are lined up, and we're golden. So when you Hi, so you don't have the option up here to bind it until you select it. Once you select the link, then you can sit, click this button up here, bind link. Okay, I'm going to bind the link. Now it suggests attached details. Well, actually, there's no attached details because the consultant, all they did was build geometry for me. But I do want to bring in the levels. I'm going to bring in the grids because they lined up columns and whatnot. So I'm going to bring those in. Okay. So, and 
it, it tells me here that it is going to create additional uniquely named levels and grids in addition to the ones that I have. I'm okay with that. So I say, okay. Now it gives me a warning. Oh dear, what's a warning? Read it. Don't just dismiss warnings, people. The link's 10 megs. I understand that. I am okay with that. So I'm going to bring it in anyway. You just in, you don't want to link in a full finished project. They're gigantic and they can take a while. And just consider what you're doing before you do it. And if it's absolutely mandatory, like right now, we're going to do it. I'm going to hit yes. Okay. So what happens is it brings it, it brings in everything. Whenever there's existing items in there that are different, the types from my project are going to rule, okay? Which is good because I have my settings set up and I don't have to worry about these other things coming in and taking over. So I say, okay. So one good thing that you're going to notice is that the link is kept inside a group. You definitely want that, okay? So here it's coming in, la la la, little spinning toilet, processing all the elements, Blanks your screen out, scares you. You're like, where'd it go? What are we going to do? Ah. You start crying. You start calling me. And uh, right when you get on the phone with me, then all of a sudden the um, file pops in. You go, oh, never mind. Uh, ne oh, never mind. Okay. Now it suggests that I, the link is still in this project. Well, I don't need the link anymore. I've got all the elements. So I'm going to say remove link down here at the bottom. Remove link. Okay, so here we go. Take a look. The entire, I'll select it. The entire link is now imported. Every single element's imported. And it's a group. So I'm going to leave it group for a sec and just show you. We don't need, <clears throat> no, I'm not going to leave it a group. I'm going to say ungroup. Ungroup. Ta-da! Ungroup. So everything's ungrouped here. Now I've got so many things I don't need. So take a look at this. It renamed their levels to the next available levels in my project, and that's okay. You don't want to delete those. Watch what happens. If I click on their first floor and I hit the delete key, okay? Ah, my first floor is gone, ah! Undo, okay, you don't wanna do that because there's so many items associated with those levels that came in. But look at this, I don't need my roof bearing plan, delete it. I don't need my fourth floor plan because it doesn't I don't need it at all. So it's going to can my PC, I mean my PC. That's a reflected ceiling plan and my floor plan. Don't need them. Don't worry about it. And I don't need my third floor because it's it's going to nothing. See, this is my template. So I hit delete, goes away. My second floor here, mm -hmm, delete it. Goes away and also my first floor. Okay, I'm going to make sure that I don't delete theirs. Ooh, look at that. They're on top of each other. Sometimes you have to use tab to make sure you get the right one and then delete. Okay, it deletes some things that I had in my template I don't need. Okay, now for this, for these, I need to rename them. First floor, let's put the cap lock on. First floor, okay. Bam. Rename this one. Second floor. There we go. And roof bearing. Okay, simple as that. All right, those are all in place, all intact. Top of the footing. Actually, I don't need it way over there. You guys know the drill. You can click this little, um, you can highlight it, and it'll bring the tag and the information over to the, uh, the other side and uncheck that side. Okay, we're clean. Everything is looking nice. Except these don't fit my standards that I have. So I can pick one of these. And over here, instead of just a quarter inch head, I put it on typical, which is mine. Okay. It's set up the way I like it. I can use match if I want to, to match the others. Bam, bam. Just bring them into my standards. And I can purge that other one out here in a minute. But I've got the project in here. Now let's go. I can click on one of these. Get these up nice and high. There we go. And so everything looks good. I'm going to go to the floor plans. Now, look, I don't have any floor plans because I've deleted all mine. No big deal. If I come up to view, I'd like a floor plan. Floor plan. 
of the first floor. Bam, comes in perfectly fine. And it, I'm, it comes in because I have my templates set up to whenever I make a plan, it uses my typical floor plan template. Okay, I'm going to edit my floor plan template temporarily to get rid of um, planting. So I don't want all those plants on. Okay, let's get the planning off. Okay, and then, see, everything's intact. I'm going to go, I'm going to make a second floor plan. I would like a floor plan of the second floor and there it is it's clean clean as a whistle all right and you just just check a few things make sure your grid see I got this this grid is needs to be connected back over here okay and pull it down here okay B1 mm -hmm. things are good Oop, couple couple grids fell behind no big deal pull them over lock them in everything looks good second floor down to the first floor. See, I got floor plans now. But down to the first floor, make sure everything's cool. The only thing I have to fix is this B1, pull it down where it belongs, and we are golden. Okay? We've got the, um, here's a cut open view of our plan. And what I need to do is reset the section box. Okay? <clears throat> there is my plan. Get rid of a couple elements that were extra in there, don't need. So this is my project. My cut open plan, I usually have it set like this. The um, If I turn on my section box, don't I don't want this section box up there. I am going to pull my section box down, tighten it up a little bit, and come here to, pull my face out of the way, go to the front view. Here's how I set my section boxes, okay. Just pull it down so that it's actually cutting something. Okay. And then turn it back on. So here is our cut open view of our plan. Everything looks nice. Hide that. There we go. Except for my face in the way. Okay. There's our cut open plan of the project is brought in. Every single element is intact. Everything is working. So there you go. Everything is now my standards are ruling in this project. It only took a minute and um, actually 10 minutes, but the whole thing's ready to go. I've got all my grids in there. The levels are reset to where they need to be and it's cleaned up plan. It's ready to go. So now I can roll with this project that, that another team built and I brought it in and now I'm using my standards as I progress forward with working drawings. I hope that tip helps you, and I hope you have a great day reveting. Talk to you later on the next um, on the next video. If you have any comments, just put them down below this video. Talk to you later. Okay, bye.